before uh, we start creating our first word let us see the uh, behavior of scheduling behavior of nodes that mean when we are going to create the pods where this uh, pod is going to get uh, launch so we are going to run this command kubectl described nodes please uh, remember the kubectl command is used uh, for managing the uh, your uh, uh, cluster and it is uh, used for uh, uh, creating the different objects so when we are running the command kubectl describe nodes it will give the details lot of details about the nodes then uh, what we are doing we are piping the output to egrep command egrep command is used for searching certain terms and what we want to search name uh, taints now what is taints uh, when we are going to see the output what it is saying that uh, name master.example.com node role is master no schedule is written that mean whenever we are going to create the pods Uh, or any objects they will not be scheduled on the master because master node is for managing the whole cluster and the schedule uh, uh, by default pod or other objects will not get scheduled on the master system although we can change that also but in the case of worker 1 and worker 2 there is no such thing so whenever we are going to launch any objects they will be launched on worker 1 and worker 2 although we can change uh, this uh, taint also later on we will be discussing these thing in greater detail what is these taints and tolerations uh, we can run the uh, this command also kubectl describe nodes again we can send uh, the output to grep command and we can search taints again what it is showing that node role kubernetes master no schedule that means by default when we implement the kubernetes cluster the uh, the objects will not be get scheduled on your master system then now we are going to create our first pod now two ways are there for creating the nodes the recommended method is you are going to uh, create the yaml file for creating any objects and in our case uh, we will be using a uh, certain name uh, according to the option that we are going to use like uh, uh, we have created one file pod without port label that mean we are creating one pod in which we are not specifying any port and neither nor we are specifying any label in your case you can name anything so in our case we have created this file that mean this is one way of creating pod second is command line we will be going through both the methods now what we are this is the definition that mean we are using the api version v1 kind of object that we want to use is pod metadata that mean what will should be the name of the pod web server specification again code uh, this pod is going to create uh, which thing containers so we are specifying that this pods is going to create one container the name of the container is going to be web and it will be based on nginx image and before creating the pod by using this definition we can run this command kubectl get pods what it is saying no resources found in default because we have just created the cluster and we did not uh, created any pod so by default it will not show you any a, a pod that we no pods are there so if we have to explain this uh, uh, this is the annotated uh, uh, pod yaml file that mean just for the explanation purpose we have created this annotated file that mean uh, which api version to use which kind of object you want to create whether it is pod deployment or service object and this is now the metadata about the resource in our case the type of resource we are creating is pod then this is the name of the pod in your case you can give any other name then specification describe desired behavior of the resource then this is the container name that uh, uh, pod when we are going to create the pod it will create the container and the name of that container is going to be web 
and from which image we are going to use nginx image so image to will be used for creating the container now once we have created the definition how we are going to create again when if we are going to run this command kubectl describe pod because no pod is running so it is not going to show you any output then what we are going to do we will use this command kubectl create minus f min file and then we are going to specify that file and uh, please remember we have created all these file in this uh, directory that we created uh, earlier that mean uh, kts in that report directory so all the files we are going to create in that directory so uh, that means this is the file for creating the pod what did he saying pod web server created then what we can see kubectl get that means immediately after if we are going to after creating uh, running this command if we are going to say kubectl get pod what will happen it is showing that uh, um, in this pod uh, uh, it is still the status is container creating that is why it is showing that when there is one container and how many are ready zero how many restarts are there no restarts are there and uh, is that mean it is uh, now it uh, the time that mean we ran this command or the, that mean it started creating this pod 8 seconds earlier so now again after some time again if we are going to launch this command kubectl get pods now what it is saying pods name is web server now status is running and ready that mean out of one container uh, one container is ready uh, understanding this is very uh, critical when we are going to uh, go on uh, the video on health checks so there this is that mean out of one container one is running and no restarts and uh, if you want more detail that mean where this pod get scheduled so what we can use kubectl get nodes minus o wide it is going to give um, in each and every command if we are going to specify minus o wide it is going to give you lot more details now what it is saying again web server status is running restart now it is showing the address of the pod also which is 10.244 uh, 1.2 and then on which node it got launched worker do, worker one dot example but that mean when we create the pods automatically it will get scheduled on certain node in our case it got scheduled on worker one now we can get the details about the pod also so what we can specify kubectl describe pod pods which pod because our pods name is web server because it is going to give you lot of information so we can pipe the output by using less so less and more commands are used for displaying the output page by page so we will be using lot of these commands so what it is saying name is web server namespace is default priority and this is the node on which it got scheduled what was the start time no label no and status is running and ip address is this and what it is saying it contains the container web and container id is this image used is nginx alpine and this is the image id that mean which image was used for creating the container so it is showing the uh, that id also port host port state started ready to it is showing you the information again because the uh, it shows lot of output so this was the first page of output this is the second page of output again initialized ready container ready that mean it is going to but the most important thing is these events what is happening that mean what is happening scheduler default successfully assigned default uh, this uh, web server to work that mean our scheduler has uh, told them that this is going to launch that mean they have scheduled this uh, port to be launched on worker one dot example after uh, it has been assigned to worker one now what will happen 
द इमेज मीन दैट इमेज विल बी पुल्ड डॉक्टर विल स्टार्ट पुलिंग दैट इमेज इन जेन एक्स एल पाइन वट द मैसेज इट इज गोइंग टू गिव सक्सेसफुली पुल्ड इमेज देन क्रिएटेड कंटेनर वेब देन स्टार्टेड ऑल्सो कंटेनर सो दैट मीन वेन वी आर गोइंग टू रन दिस कमांड क्यूब सिल्ड एट डिस्क्राइब पोर्स इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू लॉट ऑफ यूजफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन so again we will be using these commands lot that mean describe command for details about the objects so again if we are going to look at the events uh, that mean again we have that mean now we are showing only these lines so these are the last line events that we have already discussed now if you want to view the images just go to worker 1 run this command docker images l and you are going to see a e that uh, this is the image that got downloaded docker.io nginx alpine is the tag this is the image id this is two week this is the size of that because why we have run this command on worker 1 because our uh, pod got scheduled on worker 1 that mean uh, whenever we are launching any pod Uh, first the scheduling of uh, that pod happens then on that uh, system or vm uh, that image get pulled or downloaded that is what is visible now again when we are looking uh, uh, if we are going to get the details what we command we have to run kubectl get pods over it because we now want to assess the pod so we are going to run this command now it is going to show you that ip address is 10.244.1.2 uh, now we can assess this pod now we can use the curl browser we can use the links now please remember by default our web server is going to show you the default page and in default page the output is very large so we do not want to waste the space uh, so what we can do we can specify to the uh, Uh, curl command please only display the bytes from 214 to 240 and uh, what we are specifying curl go to http 10.244 1.2 so it is showing you the default page you can use the e-link browser also so e-links dump so what it is saying when we are saying that it is showing you the whole default page welcome to the nginx so this is the default page that is why when we were using this curl most of the time we will be specifying the option the minus r and we are going to specify the bytes so it is going to display only small output uh, this again we are going uh, using for uh, um, uh, for stopping wasting the space because we have to take the screenshot of the, all these thing so that it is going to uh, occupy less space now uh, if you are not going to use this curl minus r what we are is going to happen curl http now it is showing so much output that mean we are able to assess the um, uh, pod by using curl and uh, by e links we were able to successfully launch the pod also now again Uh, what we want now we want to assess the pod in interactive mode that we will be seeing in next video